Hello everyone. Um, I just want to offer up some words of encouragement during this time. Uh, recently, I have just heard and, and seen the pain of people around me, people I, I know and, and some people that I don't know. Um, and my heart really hurts for the people that are suffering in this world, people that are, are suffering because of injustice or violence or not having enough work or having too much work, um, those who have lost loved ones or are separate from their loved ones during this time. And this has kind of caused me to, to ask the question, you know, what does it all mean? You know, what's the reason behind all this pain? What is, what is the purpose of it all? And scripture doesn't actually promise that there won't be pain in our lives. Uh, no, 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 scripture doesn't promise that our purpose won't have pain, but it does promise that our pain has purpose. Take gold, for example. Gold is naturally in an impurified form, and then fire is used to purify it. Um, so this, this refining process not only uh, purifies it and allows the gold to look shiny and new, um, but it also adds value to the gold. So there is purpose in that refining. 1 Peter 1, 6 through 7 kind of gives us context when it says, in all this, which is the hope of Christ, in all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. And you may be thinking, the pain I'm dealing with right now is not taking a little while. You know, it's, it's, it seems like it's going on forever. Um, or, you know, I, I have faith. I've, I don't need to prove it. You know, I don't need to be refined. You know, I'm good. This is all good. And honestly, I don't know why pain comes when it does or, or why it doesn't seem like it's going to end. But these verses in 1 Peter are, are pointing to the fact that pain has purpose. So what is that purpose? Praise. The purpose of pain is praise. There's a great song by Ren Collective called Weep With Me. And, and it's an awesome song if you're going through a hard time. And there's one line in the song that says, Turn my lament into a love song. From this lament, raise up an anthem. So what does that mean? How is praise the purpose of our pain? And why should my lament turn into an anthem? Well, just like gold perishes, even when refined by fire, Christ the savior of the world endured the worst kind of pain. So when he died on the cross, he perished to pardon our pain in order to give us purpose to praise. 1 Peter 3.18 says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. So the purpose of pain is for us to be brought to him now and also to be reminded of the hope of eternal life in the future. And because of his willingness to endure pain for us, our own pain is truly temporary. And I don't know about you, but that is a great reason and opportunity to praise. So whatever you're going through, whether you're suffering because of COVID, because you've lost a loved one, or because of this world of hate and sin and pain, remember there is purpose in your pain because the one who suffered it all gives you a purpose 